Hello there. In this video I'd like to show you how I go about making my own house bricks. This is a wall that I made using the bricks. I think you'll see that it looks quite realistic. So I'll show you how I go about making my bricks. So the size of a house brick, um, there are different sizes of course, but in general uh, 215 by 104 millimeters by 65 millimeters high. That's the size of the actual brick, which is what we're trying to reproduce. So the size uh, in 35, 1 in 35 scale would be 7 millimeters by 3, three millimeters by 2 which is that size. As you can see, it's, <laughs> it's very, very, very small, but that really is 1 35th scale. Uh, so I've made a few bricks just a little bit bigger. Uh, they're easier to use, and uh, I, I think you can get away with it just a slightly bigger brick. But the smaller brick I used on my last project, these are the uh, smaller bricks that I used because the frontage didn't need that many bricks and having to stick them on one at a time it wasn't too big a too long a process so that's the uh, that's the smaller brick uh, but the bigger brick I will uh, show you how I go about it so there are three dimensions we have to think about two millimeter seven millimeter and three millimeter. So on a piece of broken ceramic tile, uh, because um, I'm using tile grout and tile grout won't stick to uh, ceramic tile, uh, only to the edges obviously. So I stuck two millimeter card all around the edge. So that's going to give us our first dimension, two millimeters. And then uh, divide one side with the, uh, well actually I, I divide it into four millimetres. And the other side into uh, seven or eight millimetres I think it was. But obviously you can divide that into whatever size you like, whatever size uh, fits your purpose. So with that what we do is mix our grout. need too much. So just put that in a pot with a little bit of water. And mix that up. It may seem after a while that nothing is happening. But then all of a sudden it just changes consistency and that just needs a bit more water. The idea is to put as least amount of water as possible so that, uh, that it dry, dries a lot more quickly. Now there's a little bit too much water there now so I'll put a bit more This is just ordinary tile grout from the local DIY shop. Costs a, a bag this size. Cost me the equivalent of about two pounds, two English pounds, which is about three dollars. And you can make literally thousands of bricks from a bag that size. Okay, that's looking about right. Okay, so now we've got the right consistency. We'll just put that on the ceramic tile like so. I can just get out the camera. And it's pretty much like butter. 
all you do is spread the butter. I haven't done much. You, you probably need to, to mix a little, little more than this to uh, to make it worthwhile making a batch. But I've just done this little bit to uh, just to show you how how I go about it. So once it's like spread out, let's move the house. Then you can. Uh, tamp it down you can tamp it down to the two millimeter dimension that we need that will spread out as we tamp that along and we know that that's uh, our first dimension two millimeters in England we have an expression this stuff is like sticking shit to a blanket. <laughs> it's very sticky at this stage. So there's not much you can do about it apart from uh, spread it out like this. Okay, so that's that way. And then again this way. So now we've got our so now we've got our brick mixture and we know that it's two millimeters thick so what we have to do now is cut along those lines with a sharp knife uh, to get our other two dimensions the uh, three millimeter by the eight millimeter uh, there's nothing we can do at the moment it's just too sticky to, to, to work with but we only have to wait about 10-15 minutes and then we can uh, we can cut it up to the proper shape so I'll uh, just come back in 10 minutes time okay so here we are 10 minutes later and now it's uh, it's not quite so sticky to the touch now but uh, I think we can carry on maybe should leave another five minutes but it doesn't matter um, using the back of a washing up scrubbing brush whatever they are using the rough side if you just tamp that onto the surface that will give a rough surface to to each brick uh, to give it a more realistic realistic look so when you look at the shape of the the brick uh, on the front there you can see that's where i've just tamped it down with the uh, washing up sponge okay now what you do lay a ruler on the top and with the uh, two marks lined up then just give it a quick flip with a craft knife that's all you do. The next one. This way will give you an exact size of brick every time. It's a bit of a laborious job, but um, it's got to be done. And so on all the way down there and then turn and do the same with all the mark with all the the uh, four millimeter markings all the way down there takes a bit of time but uh, it's a lot easier if you don't have a camera between your arms so um, when you do it it should be a lot easier so I'll uh, go ahead and finish that off and uh, I'll be back okay so there we are three minutes later and I've uh, scored the uh, other two sizes we need for the bricks, the uh, seven millimeter and the uh, four millimeter. Okay. Now we need to wait at least 12 hours for that to dry off properly. Um, 
this is the last batch that I made. Uh, when it's all dried off, it'll be be like that, and then we can uh, build our wall. So I'll be back in uh, one day or however long it takes to dry off and uh, we'll carry on. And just as a matter of interest at the back of the house this is uh, my last video 10 Rillington Place the house of the Christie murder murders. Um, the brickwork here th this is uh, the, the smaller brick that I used the, 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 the 1 35th scale brick on the wash house and the kitchen but because the back of the house was uh, too much too much to do I couldn't be asked to uh, <laughs> stick those on individually uh, I did those a different way and I'll be showing you how I did that in a different video uh, but for the time being I'll, uh, I'll wait for this uh, this grouting to dry and uh, I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so 12 hours has passed and uh, all the bricks look to have dried out now. So all I need to do is just ease them off the tile like so. And now I've got bricks to work with. What I've done is made a cardboard wall and I shall uh, stick the bricks on one at a time all over the wall and uh, show you what the effect of the bricks are when they're, uh, when they're used in situ. I can keep that there. I should just use uh, PVA glue that's all I need and it will stick uh, the tiles will stick to the to the cardboard quite easily so a permanent uh, a permanent fixture so I'll get on and uh, brick up the wall and we'll go from there so I've stuck all the bricks onto the brick wall or the cardboard wall uh, I think if I worked on a building site and the uh, the foreman saw a brick wall like this, he'd tell me to f off. But it's the best I can do. So I've made up a a solution of uh, wall filler. Again, this was only a couple of pounds from the DIY shop, about three dollars, and just added a little bit of black paint and water just to thin it. We go, thin it out a little bit, and this is going to be my um, fit the uh, fill in between the um, <laughs> the brick mortar. That's the word I was looking for. The mortar <laughs> between the bricks. So that will go all over, all over the wall like so. When I have done so, when I finish that. Then with a, with a wet sponge I'll take off all the excess so it'll leave the, uh, the brickwork showing and the, the mortar left in between the bricks so I'll just go ahead and do that well there you go I've uh, sponged off all the excess filler or uh, mortar just to expose the bricks there and put a black wash over the top there's a lot more can be done to it just to make the colouring uh, a little more authentic but you get the general idea and uh, if it's part of a small diorama there's uh, a military vehicle just passing the brick wall so that's how I make my um, bricks um, you can make them any size you like once you've made this which takes five minutes just a case of sticking two millimeter 
uh, uh, cardboard onto a, onto a ceramic tile. And you can rub these out and make them to any size you like. So you could make the, the proper sized bricks for 135 or uh, any, anything you like really, any size you like. So it's just an idea that I, I use. Uh, pass my um, ideas on to you. Uh, but that's, uh, that's basically uh, my idea of brickwork. I've got other ideas as well I shall show you in future videos. In fact I've got a, a number of things that I'd like to, uh, like to make videos of. Um, if you've enjoyed this and uh, you, you've got anything uh, from this then please uh, click like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.